coming up the steps. Oh dear. Oh no, Kelly. Oh what? Oh, Kelly Miles is turned. Soon. Oh, Mr. Jack, this step has gone upstairs and she will be down in a moment, sir. Very well. Oh, come fuck up, old boy. What are you looking so blue about? Well, Detroit may be a bum town compared to New York, but of all the lonesome boys, this is the limit. Five million strangers and you, my only friend. Why, well, I came here for comfort and advice. Ah, my boy, what you need is society, feminine society. Now, a nice, bright New York girl is your medicine. You get the girl, I'll do the rest. What a chance! See, I won't do a thing to him. Fine show. And I didn't just curse to me. There's a girl that lives right here. Oh, but she's too good for you. A fine girl. Good fellow and all that. But she's deaf. Awfully deaf. You've got to yell your head off to make her hear you. And she yells right back because she can't hear herself talk. <laughs> Not much chance of sweet nothing, huh? No, but she has merit. A world beater on the chasing beat. Why, her rare bit of spaghetti would make you leave home and mother. And my boy, she has a bundle of money. Why don't you marry this girl? Oh, I would. But she says that I'm too short. Stand up. By Jove, you're just about the right height. Besides, you're a good boy. Don't suppose you can hear her. I come home late night. Huh? I should say not. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and get her, and then I'll be the short business engagement and get out and give you two a chance to get acquainted. Well, put a daughter out to commit suicide. I'm lonesome. Gee, I wish I... Now, you hide in there, and when she comes out, I'll introduce you. Now, here, here's some cigarettes. Here's a match. Uh, no, 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 Hello, sweetheart. Hello, Jack. But why are you so late, dear? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. But Ned Brown, an old cover of mine from here, is here. You know, he's a stranger in New York, poor fellow. He came here to have his ears operated on. And I thought you might entertain him while I keep the short business appointment. Oh, but Jack, dear, I'm all alone. Uh, oh, I just... Oh, uh, no difference, darling. Ned is a fine fellow, and I'll vouch for him. Poor boy, he's terribly afflicted. Death, stone death. Well, you've got to yell your head off to make him hear you. And he talks so loud that all the neighbors will hear your conversation. Oh, come now. You can't refuse to help me and a poor old pal, can you? Oh, well, Jack, dear, if you put it as charity, I suppose I must. That's a good girl. Now, kiss your sweetheart. Mr. Brown, Miss Adams! Delighted, Miss Adams! Now, I'll leave you two together for a short time. Business, you know! This is very sudden, Miss Adams. Jack Way, the worst practical joker I ever knew. Yes, he is too fond of jokes. You're very kind. Most people are so cold as strangers. You like it better when you become acquainted. Have you seen any shows? Every night. I should think you would enjoy motion pictures. Why? Oh, I don't know. One does not have to hear. I should think. You'd prefer the pictures. Oh, no. I prefer concerts. Indeed. May I get two front row seats for Susan's band? Oh, on mercy, take this. What is all this about? This is a friend of Jack who is as deaf as a doorknob. I'm yelling myself forth to make him hear. Mr. Brown, my... Miss Why, there's some misunderstanding here. I'm not the least bit hard of hearing. Am I to understand your niece is? Oh. 
I see one of Jack's jokes. Can't he get even? He'll be back in a minute. What can he do? I know. He'll go to the show and not lose his band either. How about you, Miss Rockin? Kindly excuse me. You two both. I will remain to welcome Jack. <laughs> now, don't be too hard on poor old Jack. Good evening. Hello. Where are you two going? To, to the Jack and Thomas Good night.